हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस ऑन द रजिस्ट्रेशन अंडर सेक्शन ट्वेल्व डबल ए द मैटर हैज बिन डिसाइडेड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड द नेम ऑफ द साइटेशन इज डायरेक्टर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एग्जामेशन वर्सेज मीनाक्षी अम्मा एंडोमेंट ट्रस्ट This matter has been reported in 447 ITR at page number 663, and the date of the judgment is September 1, 2022. As all we know, that when the SSC goes for Section 12 AA registration, the department asks a number of the questions like, "What are your objects? What are the activities you are carrying on?" and sometimes when the assc is old enough then the department also has the right to ask the financial statements of the uh, previous years the purpose of asking these financial statement is that they want to know that whether the assc is actually engaged in the charitable activities as are defined in section 2 sub section 15 there were a number of judgments which were saying that at the time of the registration the cit cannot ask from the ngo that whether they are carrying on actually the activities or not but in the recent past the supreme court judgment has clarified that at the time of the registration when the assc is old meaning thereby the assc is carrying on the charitable uh, charitable activities since a number of years the department is well within powers to ask the various account books to determine that whether the charitable activities have been actually carried out or not but the question arises in those cases where the ngo is new where the society is registered very recently and it has uh, a number of the years has not elapsed or in other words section 8 company or the trust has recently come into existence where the accounts are not available so the question is that whether in this case the denial under section 12 can be done on the ground that the assc has not carried out any charitable activity this was the moot question in this case so the court said that the cit can ask only for the objects of the ngo or what are the activities they are going to perform in the future if they are according to section 2 sub section 15 then they have to grant the registration but at the time of giving the registration you cannot deny the exemption on the ground that you have not started your activity it is not like that first of all you will uh, start your activity then you uh, we will give you the registration under section 12 so the department is bound to give the registration under uh, section 12 at the time when it is seeked from the uh, department and it cannot be denied on the sole ground that the assc has not carried out its uh, the assc has not started its activity but in this case the supreme court also gave a rider that in case the cit after the activities have been carried out feels that or has the evidence that the charitable activities has not been carried out according to the objects of the society or the charitable activities has not been carried out then it has uh, it is well in the powers to cancel the registration but at the time of the registration it cannot be denied on the ground that the activities has not been started once the activities are started then the commissioner of income tax has the power to cancel the registration on the ground that the activities are not according to the charitable objects now the new law which says that even the cit has the power to determine whether the ngo is following the other laws of the land for example the court said that in case of uh, charitable organizations if they are not registered under the education act of the 
respective state even in that case also the registration can be denied but if that ngo is new then the registration cannot be denied on the ground that that ngo has not started its activity but once the activity is started it should be according to the objects of the society and that too according to section 2 subsection 15 at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is director of income tax exemptions versus minakshi amma endowment trust thank you friends